Did you know that each cigarette you smoke contains more than just nicotine? It also contains pyrazines, chemicals that significantly contribute to your addiction. Shocking, isn't it? When we think about cigarettes, we often focus on nicotine, the substance that's been branded as the main culprit behind the addiction. But today we're going to shed light on a lesser known but equally addictive component, pyrazines. Pyrazines are additives used by tobacco manufacturers to enhance the appeal of light cigarette products. While light might sound healthier, the presence of these additives actually optimizes nicotine delivery and dosing, leading to a more potent addiction. Isn't that a twist? These additives work in tandem with nicotine, cueing and promoting learned behavior that keeps smokers reaching for another stick. But it doesn't stop there. Pyrazines also have chemosensory effects. They interact with our senses, altering the way we perceive the act of smoking. This interaction can create a powerful sensory association, further deepening the addiction. It's like a double-edged sword, where nicotine hooks you and pyrazines make sure you stay hooked. This revelation should make us rethink our understanding of cigarettes and their addictive nature. No longer can we pin the blame solely on nicotine. Pyrazines share a significant part of the responsibility. It's a complex dance between these two substances that makes quitting smoking such an uphill battle. This discovery also calls for a revision of current models of tobacco abuse liability to include the impact of non-nicotine constituents. Regulating these addictive additives is just as crucial as controlling nicotine content. After all, a comprehensive approach is needed to combat the multifaceted problem of tobacco addiction. Now that we've uncovered this shocking truth, let's delve deeper into the complex world of nicotine and pyrazines and cigarettes. It's time we understand the full picture of what's happening every time we light up a cigarette. So let's keep peeling back the layers in this journey of discovery. You've heard of nicotine, but do you really know what it is and how it affects your body? Let's break it down. Nicotine is a chemical compound found in the tobacco plant. It's a stimulant, which means it speeds up the messages traveling between the brain and the body. It's also the main psychoactive ingredient in tobacco. When inhaled or absorbed, it enters your bloodstream and travels to your brain, causing a release of adrenaline and dopamine. This stimulates your central nervous system, increases your heart rate, and raises your blood pressure. But here's where it gets tricky. While nicotine itself is not particularly harmful, it is highly addictive. It stimulates the release of dopamine in the brain's pleasure circuits, which is the same process that occurs in response to more harmful drugs like heroin and cocaine. This dopamine release makes the smoker feel good, leading to a desire to keep smoking and creating a cycle of addiction. But what about the common misconceptions? Some believe that nicotine is the harmful element in cigarettes, causing diseases like cancer, heart disease, and respiratory disorders. However, the truth is, while nicotine is addictive, it's not the primary cause of these diseases. It's the multitude of other chemicals in tobacco smoke that are the real culprits. It's also important to note that nicotine addiction isn't just about the chemical. It's also about the behaviors and rituals associated with smoking. The act of lighting up, the feeling of the cigarette between your fingers, the smoke in your lungs. These sensory experiences create a psychological addiction that works hand in hand with the physical addiction to nicotine. Nicotine is indeed a potent substance, but it's not the only one you need to be aware of when it comes to cigarettes. Now, let's shed light on a less known but equally harmful component of cigarettes, pyrazines. Pyrazines, you might ask? Yes, pyrazines. These are organic compounds that are commonly found in various foods and beverages, imparting flavors ranging from nutty to bell pepper-like. But what's more intriguing, or rather alarming, is their role in the world of tobacco. Tobacco manufacturers are known to use additives like pyrazines to enhance the appeal of their products, particularly light cigarettes. How so? Well, these compounds help optimize nicotine delivery and dosing. This means they make it easier for the nicotine to reach your brain, boosting the addictive potential of the cigarette. But the role of pyrazines doesn't stop there. They also play a significant role in cueing and learned behavior. This means they can trigger cravings and reinforce smoking habits, making it even harder for smokers to quit. In essence, pyrazines are like the hidden puppeteers in the world of tobacco pulling the strings behind the scenes. They help make cigarettes more addictive and appealing, all while remaining relatively unknown to the general public. 
To give you a clearer picture, imagine a sly magician who uses misdirection to perform his tricks. While you're focused on the nicotine, the pyrazines are busy at work, enhancing the addictive effects of the cigarette and reinforcing your smoking habits. So, while nicotine often gets the spotlight when it comes to the harmful effects of smoking, it's important to remember that it's not the only player in the game. Pyrazines also play a significant role in the addictive nature of cigarettes and thus, they deserve equal attention. As you can see, pyrazines are a hidden danger in cigarettes that you should not overlook. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about what you're up against, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your health. Nicotine and pyrazines, a dangerous duo that ramps up the addiction potential of every cigarette you smoke. Now, you're probably wondering how these two substances work hand in hand. Well, let's dive into that, shall we? Nicotine, as we've discussed, is the primary addictive substance in tobacco. It's the culprit behind the immediate feel-good sensation, the rush that smokers often seek. But nicotine's role doesn't stop there. It also primes the brain to be more receptive to other addictive substances, setting the stage for pyrazines to step in. Pyrazines, on the other hand, are additives used by tobacco manufacturers. They're there not just to enhance the flavor, but to optimize nicotine delivery and dosing. Essentially, they make sure that every puff you take delivers just the right amount of nicotine to keep you coming back for more. But here's the kicker. Pyrazines also play a significant role in cueing and learned behavior. It's these sensory cues, the smell, the taste, the sensation of smoke in your lungs that become deeply ingrained in the smoker's psyche. The brain starts associating these cues with the pleasure of smoking, creating a powerful psychological dependency. So it's not just the nicotine that keeps you hooked, it's the interplay between nicotine and pyrazines, this potent duo that makes each cigarette so addictive. Nicotine provides the immediate pleasure and primes the brain, while pyrazines ensure optimal nicotine delivery and create sensory cues that lead to a psychological dependency. It's a clever yet insidious strategy that tobacco companies have perfected over the years. They've managed to create a product that's not just addictive on a chemical level, but one that also taps into our sensory experiences and psychological tendencies. So next time you think about lighting up, remember the potent duo of nicotine and pyrazines that are keeping you hooked. Knowledge is power, and it's time for you to use that power to make a difference. When we peel back the layers of what we think we know, we often find a complex web of truths hidden beneath the surface. As we've discovered today, the world of cigarettes is no different. It's not just about nicotine. There are other players in this game of smoke and mirrors, such as pyrazines, that contribute to the allure and addiction of smoking. It's important to understand that while we've been led to believe that nicotine is the main villain, it's not acting alone. It's a team effort, with pyrazines playing a significant role in heightening the appeal of light cigarette products and reinforcing addictive behaviors. The more we know about these hidden elements, the better equipped we are to address the issue at its roots. Now, it's one thing to know this information, but it's another to share it. And that's where you come into play. We're not just talking about the dangers of smoking here. We're talking about a broader awareness. We're talking about understanding the hidden dynamics that make smoking so hard to quit. And we're talking about how this understanding can help us develop more effective strategies to combat smoking addiction. So let's take this knowledge and do something with it. Talk to your friends, your family, your colleagues. Use your social media platforms to spread the word. Start conversations about the often overlooked aspects of smoking addiction, like the role of pyrazines. You never know who might be listening, who might be struggling, and who might find the strength to quit because of what you've shared. Remember, every conversation you start, every post you share, every dialogue you engage in helps to illuminate the truth about smoking. It helps to break down the myths and misconceptions that surround this pervasive habit. And most importantly, it helps to create a more informed, more empowered society capable of making better decisions for their health and well-being. Share this video, spread the word, and let's work together to shed light on the true dangers of smoking. Because every life matters and every effort counts.